The name of this session is how to work less, produce more, and still get the job done in a sensible school week. What we're gonna be talking about today is how to produce a breakthrough in your time, your results, and your satisfaction. That is working less, less hard, less effort, less hours, while increasing performance results in your schools and in your districts. And then increasing your personal satisfaction in the matter as well, because it's not okay with us for you to have fantastic results and be miserable in the process. We want you to be satisfied. So what do I mean by a breakthrough? If you refer to the diagram, in general, if you look at most organizations, schools included, you will see that their results tend to be increasing, albeit slowly, incrementally, generally in an upward direction, usually at a rate of about five to 15% per year. And that's what we call the drift of an organization. If you don't touch it, you don't play with it, you don't interfere, it just let it drift. And then something happens and you get this non-linear, non-incremental shot upwards, the part depicted in the circle, unlike the normal drift. This is the phenomenon we're gonna be talking about today. We define a breakthrough as a significant increase in results in a relatively short period of time that don't drift backwards over time. They sustain themselves at the new level after whatever the intervention was. To cause a breakthrough requires two major shifts. The first shift is a shift or change in action. Results are a derivative of action. Nothing happens or changes in the world until somebody takes action. And so breakthrough results come from taking dramatically different actions than you've taken in the past, which then begs the question, well, what impacts action? Which is the second shift that needs to occur, which is a shift in perspective. When a person's perspective shifts, when the way they've been viewing the same situation suddenly changes, they very naturally see different actions to take, often the ones that are gonna cause breakthroughs. If you want to shift your results in a big way, if you're interested in producing breakthroughs in any area in your life, you gotta start by shifting how you see the world. And for all of you, we gotta start by shifting how you see the role of what we call school executive. What is the job of school executive, really? See, how many of you have ever been to Nordstrom's? Raise your hand. Nordstrom's, yeah. We can talk sports, right? And we can talk shopping. Okay, ladies, besides shoes, what is Nordstrom's known for? Great customer service, yeah. And do you know why Nordstrom's has such great customer service? Nordstrom's does three things better than anybody else in the industry. Anybody know what they are? <coughs> Number one, they hire really great people. You know, when they have a posting, there are jobs at Nordstrom's, like in, in uh, men's clothing and, and areas like that, where you can make over $100,000 a year working in retail at Nordstrom. So it's like the mecca of retail. So every time they post a job, they have people waiting around the corner, line around the corner for jobs at Nordstrom's. They hire really great people. The second thing they do is they train their people at Nordstrom's incredibly well. Before you ever get on the floor at Nordstrom's, you get 120 hours of off-site training where they train you in everything from um, you know, return policies, customer service, alterations, um, merchandising, all of it. And then when you're a new associate, they finally put you on the floor at Nordstrom's, they put a manager right there next to you. And the manager's job in real time is to make sure that you are doing what you learn to do in training. Because think about this. What if I'm a new associate at Nordstrom's and it's a sale day and I got people coming at me left and right, it's very fast moving and somebody comes up to me, they need support, they need help and I'm just, I'm rude. I'm rude to the customer and nobody says anything. And then, because it's a sale day, it's been crazy all day, I see a chance to go the extra mile for somebody at the end of the day, but I don't take it. I'm just like, I'm too tired, I can't be bothered. No, thank you. And nobody says anything. 
And then that night, because I've had such a hard day, I call my girlfriends up, I see, meet me at the wine bar. A couple of glasses of wine turns into a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine turns into pictures of sangria. Before you know it, we're closing down the wine bar at 2 a.m. I roll into bed, fall asleep in my clothes, makeup unchanged, hair, same thing I was at Nordstrom all day yesterday. I wake up late, alarm clock goes off late. I wake up late. I roll out of bed, disheveled, same clothes I was in yesterday, no time to do my makeup and my hair. I roll into Nordstrom's and nobody says anything. Now what we've got, ladies and gentlemen, is Kmart. <laughs> what makes Nordstrom's Nordstrom's is coaching, management. But I want you to think about now what you've got going on in those classrooms, right? You've hired great people. They come with many advanced degrees. You've trained them incredibly well. And then they get out into those classrooms and they do what they do. And, you know, they do what they do. And if that's what you want them to do, that's great. But if not, you know what they say about teaching, right? Second oldest profession done behind closed doors. <laughs> Second oldest profession. And if you think your two informals and one formal a year are making any difference to performance, you are just kidding yourself. Managers need to be at the field when the game is in play. A lot. A lot. In order to observe performance so that you can train and develop. If you are ready to start a whole new life, a whole new direction for yourself, if you're ready to produce a breakthrough in your time, your results, and your satisfaction, you must get out of your offices, out of the district office, and in those sites, into those classrooms. Observe performance and give feedback. Observe performance and give feedback. That is your job. And the more time you spend in classrooms, the easier the job gets. Okay, step number two, you're going to redefine your secretary's role. The person who makes the biggest difference to the transformation of a school or a school district or school district department is the lead secretary. It is the lead secretary's job or the executive secretary's job to create the space and time for the executive to coach their staff. When the job of secretary was first invented, it was a very high level job. The word secretary derives from the medieval Latin of 1387, secretarius. And a secretarius was someone who was authorized to deal with confidential, confidential information for either a pope or a king. And it's a shame, you know, that people in today's world are trying to get away from the job title secretary, because some of the most powerful people on earth hold the job title secretary. Every major department of government is headed by secretary. Every board has a secretary on it. The person who runs the UN, their title is secretary general. And in this context, the secretary is considered an aide to the chief executive. It is not somebody who's designed to run coffee and bring coffee. This is someone who can speak and act on behalf of the executive. Education as an industry has relegated this position and to your detriment. Everyone's suffering because of it. Now this is not such good news for school principals who've spent years, right, climbing to the top of the food chain, the, their food chain, only to realize you're not at the top of the food chain. Your secretary is. She runs the place. That is her job. And part of why you're working nights, part of why you're working weekends, part of why you're not seeing your family, not spending, taking care of your health, not spending time with your children, is you are in competition with her for that job. <laughs> I've given you a taste of what's possible here today, what's possible for school executives. When you operate according to this methodology, what happens is you end up working sensible work weeks, doing more of the work you love, more of the time, more often, and having a life that satisfies you as well. What we're interested in here is a world that works for everyone. 
and you're part of the world, so it's got to work for you as well. And that is our only wish for you, really. Thank you for the brilliant job you are already doing. Thank you. Thank you for staying here and being here today.